So you can see here I'm at ideabuilder.ibcprotocol.dev. Um, I've just reset it, so I'm showing you the same tutorial that you will see when you access the front end. Um, essentially, what the IBC Idea Builder is, is it is an easy to use no code flowchart maker to help you experience the building with the IBC protocol without actually having to learn the code base and learn the code. So uh, it's what you think of very similar to what you think of maybe it's maybe who's Miro or other drag and drop uh, builders. This is a very similar concept. Um, it also will save your idea and then you can export your idea. And I will show you how all of this works. We have some lovely keyboard commands. All right. So when I first access the IBC Idea Builder, we have kind of a default view there. Um, but there's a few things to know. On the bottom of the screen, we have built-in, I'm zooming in, there we go. We have some built-in IBC templates. So for really common IBC workflows that might become part of your idea, we've actually built templates for them. Um, so you'll see here, Things like token transfers, transfer plus action, cross-chain account control, query data. I'm going to choose transfer plus action. And also for all of these templates, if you want to know what they are, each of them has a little tool tip and also a GitHub link. So you can read more about what this feature actually does and, and how these things work together. All of these uh, templates you can use Sorry, they, they, they can be manipulated, moved around, changed colors. I'll show you how to do that, but uh, everything is fully interactive. Next, we have some common cross-chain interactions. So this is similar as previous. So all of these are things that you can do within IBC, right? And again, uh, we have these uh, tool tips to assist you. And then we also have some basic components. So maybe you wanna add an arrow to your process or any of these other shapes, those are all there. Different types of lines, text, self-explanatory, and then also image upload in case you wanna add you know, your logo or a certain picture to your idea. So when I'm going to actually edit the what is on this template, each of these nodes uh, moves around. You can connect them just as you would with, for example, a Miro. And you can also, when you have it selected, you can hit these three dots and then you can change um, different aspects or different design styles related to this particular shape. So I will actually show you. So when I select this line, for example, I can change the label of it. I can change the color of it. Um, I can also change you know, the styles as well. So if you want to add any additional uh, if you want to indicate different things about your process or you want different colors to mean different things, you have all of that functionality built in. Adi, before I get into saving and exporting, is there anything you would want to add about the different workflows or templates that are included here? Because you built them all. Um, nothing else really. I think you've pretty much covered everything. Um, and yeah, like if people have any questions about like what is callbacks or like what is um what is a particular function, you can always just like use the tooltips, go to GitHub. Um yeah, and I guess from my side it, and from like a judging perspective, like I personally prefer it if people sort of label their workflows, you know, like just which is first action, which is second action, and so on, just makes it easier to judge. Um that's just something that I would add. That's very helpful, actually. Uh, that's super helpful. Okay, a couple of things about like the actual functioning of the idea builder. Um, your ideas are automatically saved to your browser cache. And you can rename your flow um, and then it will save to your cache again. And then you can also export your flow, which you will need to do to put it into your Dora Hacks Biddle. So what you do is you come up here to this menu, you actually go to share, and then it will say, do you wanna share? You say yes. And then after a moment, you basically get this IPFS link. And then you will put this IPFS link into your Dora Hacks middle. Super useful, super easy, right? Now, let's say you want to create an additional flow while keeping this one saved in your cache. You can easily do that here. 
right? And then it basically resets. And, and then if you want to fully reset everything, reset all of your ideas, um, clear your browser cache fully, you go up here and then you go to reset application. And then it will prompt you and say, are you sure? And then you can say yes. And that is it. This is how you use the builder. Uh, you will have a lot of fun with this. Our goal with this builder is that it allows you to pretty much experiment with all these different fantastic applications, features, middleware that IBC offers um, without you needing to spend a ton of time learning the code base. At the same time, the code base and the information about all of these features and workflows is available to you. So we highly recommend you familiarize yourself to assist you in creating more in-depth and creative and exciting ideas.